All right. Uh, in this particular circuit, we're asked uh, to find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor right here, V0, using the superposition principle. Now, just a quick recap on superposition principle. It basically says that because of the linearity property of this linear circuit, uh, we can basically calculate the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor independently as uh, the voltage uh, due to the 4 amp current source and the voltage due to the 10 volt source, and then finally merge them together to get the total response at the 2 ohm resistor. Okay, so in order to do superposition, we basically use one source at a time and set all other sources to zero. In this case, we only have two sources. So let's start out by setting current source to zero. So what does that circuit look like? When current source is set to zero, that particular current source acts as an open, meaning there's no current flowing here, so it acts as an open wire. In other words, this whole branch right here goes away, and the circuit looks like this. So here's my voltage source right here. The current source has disappeared. Now, if there's no current source, then there's all 5 ohm resistor, a 3 ohm resistor, and a 2 ohm resistor. That's all we have. Now, in the second, time, second case, what we'll do is we'll keep the current source, but remove the voltage source. So if we set the voltage source to zero, basically meaning the voltage source here is zero, so that point and that point are at the exact same uh, voltage value. So those two nodes across the voltage source are exact value. In other words, there's a short. So that's what the circuit will look like. So we'll independently analyze these two circuits and come up with a voltage output across a 2 ohm resistor. So let's get back to this particular circuit where the current source was set to zero. In this case, the, uh, you see that the 5 ohm resistor, the 3 ohm resistor, and 2 ohm resistor are all in series. We can use a number of techniques to calculate VO or V out right here. Uh, in this case, since all the resistors are in series, voltage divisor the voltage divider seems like a appropriate technique to use here. So the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor according to voltage divider is basically equal to 2 ohms divided by the sum of the series resistance, which is 10 ohms times the supply voltage here, 10 volts. So V out equals 2 divided by 10 times 10, which leads me to 2 volts. So when current source is set to zero, the influence of this 10 volt source on the V0 across the 2 ohm resistor is basically 2 volts. Now let's get back to this particular circuit where the voltage source is set to 0. In this case, here's a 4 amp current source. The 4 amp current source comes to this junction and goes this way and this way. How much it divides going to the left versus going to the right depends on the total resistance on the left hand side and the right hand side. In this case, it's fairly straightforward because the left-hand side has two series resistance of 3 plus 2, which is a total of 5. So the total resistance on the left-hand side is 5 ohms. The total resistance in the right-hand side is also 5 ohms. So if you can use the current divider formula if you wish, but really, if there is equal resistance on either side, the 4 amp current will divide equally. So in other words, the 4 amp current will get to this junction. 2 amp will go on the left-hand branch, and the right-hand side will get another 2 amps. So what we'll get is 2 amps going through the left, and the 2 amps going to the right. So this 2 amp current on the left-hand branch goes through the 3 ohm resistor, and goes through the 2 ohm resistor as well. So total current going through the 2 ohm resistor right here is 2 amps. We have 2 ohms of resistance, 2 amps of current, so the total voltage V out is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4 volts. Now 4 volts is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor simply because of the 4 amp current source. 2 volt was the voltage across this because of the 10 volt. Now in this original circuit, we have both these sources. Superposition basically says the contribution of the voltage source, which is 2 volts, and the contribution of the current source, in this case, which is 4 volts, gives us the total voltage across that 2 ohm resistor. So by superposition, we can say 2 volts plus 4 volts equals 6 volts. So that's how you solve this particular circuit and find the voltage across V0 using the superposition principle.